Hi, Dave Anderson here. In this video, we're going to show you how to import your photos into Lightroom. It's a fairly simple process, and if you follow along, we're going to show you the steps. So let's first minimize our Lightroom window. Okay, the first step is to create a folder on your computer where you want to store all of your photos. I have a folder that's called Lightroom Photo Resource Folder. We open that up, and you'll see inside that folder, I have some subfolders. This is the first line of organization. Each one of these subfolders is for a particular event. So, for example, if you went to Florida every year, you may have a folder called Florida, and when you get back from your trip, you would import your pictures into that particular folder. Let's create a new folder for today's demo. And I'm going to call this folder Video Demo. We've now created that folder, and if we open it up, you can see there's absolutely nothing in that folder. So now we need to take our photos from our camera or elsewhere on our computer and drag them into this particular folder. So let's put a memory card in, and you can see that I have a number of photos that are on the memory card that I want to put into the video demo folder. So I'm going to select all of these images and drag those into my new video demo folder that I created. They're transferring over right now. And once they're in that folder, we can go into Lightroom and import them into Lightroom so that you can use them for editing purposes. Okay, we've got those imported there. Let's open up Lightroom. We have Lightroom. We're in the library module. We're going to go to the file menu, go down to the import photos and video. We're going to select that. And what you now get is the import window. And on this particular window, you can see a number of different items. The left hand side here is the source. We need to find out where those files are at. Now it's showing me the files right now because of the fact it sees them uh, in the computer. But we're going to go down and you use the directory tree just like you would on a Mac or a PC to navigate to where your photos are at. Mine are in the Lightroom Photo Resource folder and we now see the video demo and we see the images that we want to import into Lightroom. Across the top here we have copy as a digital negative, copy, move, or add. We want to add because we don't want to make another copy and we don't want to move those files. We just want to add them so Lightroom can see them as a resource that you can use to develop your particular picture. You can go into the develop mode to crop it, to adjust the, the exposure, and many other things that we'll talk about in other videos. Once we get to this point, we come over to this right hand column, and this is where you can add things like metadata for uh, copyright, or you can add keywords. In this case, we're going to add video demo as our keyword. We'll show you in future videos how you can add copyrights and how you can apply develop settings as you do imports, as well as how to use those keywords to search and find photos. But today's video, we're going to show you exactly how to import. So now we just drop down to the import, click on the import button, and you'll see on the left hand side here in the library module, video demo was now added as a file folder. So those resources are now available. At the top you see a status bar showing how far along we are in the import. We're at seven of nine right now, eight of nine, and now they are all imported. The task is now complete. So we now have our images available for us in Lightroom to use. So if we click on the video demo folder now, and I'm going to go to the um, slide viewer mode so you can see all the different uh, images. Those images are now ready for us to use. Okay, that's how easy it is to import your photos into Lightroom. First, create a folder on your computer where you want to store all of your images. Second, copy the images from your memory cards to that folder. And then go in and select Import Photos and Video. That's how easy it is. In the future, we'll be talking about creating flags, color coding, collections, and how to use the tools and development modules. We hope you found this video useful and helpful. If so, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next video.